Okay, so I'm just going to assume that things started, so I'm going to do this real quick. So, I have this deck that I've made. It's called End of Times. Now, I have a kind of a theme going on here. It's mainly contingencies and whatnot, but there's a few different ways I want to take it. Uh, nothing to brag about. It's actually kind of lame, ain't going to lie. Um, I would like a couple more shamans. Would be nice. Hard to find in the trade. Um, I don't need the Nido, Nido Ran line. Don't need it at all. Um, a lot of this stuff I really don't need. Essentially all that I'm trying to do is either get my Dragonite, my Mewtwo, or um, my Gardevoirs out. But, uh, you know, one thing at a time. Not the perfect deck, but I do have a lot of fun with it and it has gotten me this far. So let's play with it real quick, see what I can do with it. It's, it's, it's a hit and miss, it's really all about what I draw. But fortunately, I do have a lot of uh, cards that help me kind of dictate what I'm going to be getting. Alright, so obviously he's going to be going first. Oh wait, no, I am. Haha! -ha. Success. Alright, so this is something very typical um, that we see. Uh, one of the things I love, if I could draw an energy, that would be great. So I'm going to kick it off, bring it up Mewtwo up in the front. I like having Mew basically because um, what I'll do is I'll I'll keep a stronger Pokemon out in the front, take up some of the hits, um, lose prize cards because of it, not a big deal. Um, but I'll be stacking energy on him, fill out my fucking bench, and then by the time that Mew actually comes up, dude, thank you. Alright, we're going to put a Rainbow Energy on Mewtwo. We're going to use our Ultra Ball and then get rid of Double Colorless Energy. And then we are going to pull out. Uh, I guess Shaman. Nope, Shaman's right there. Which would be nice for now or later. Take Shaman now. Now, this is my first turn, so I'm obviously going to take advantage of Lily. Bust out eight cards. Put the Lucky Helmet on Mewtwo EX. Stack the bench. And. Yeah, I'm going to save that bad boy for later. I can't attack right now, but when I am ready to attack, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be getting that double close energy back from the discard pile with energy absorption. It's a great move early on in the game. Get rid of it, throw it in there, and then use your first attack being to pull that bad boy out. Like I said, the deck isn't necessarily done. There are aspects of it that I utilize more than anything else. A lot of it's just filler. A lot of what I do is end up digging through the deck. So Lysander is going to be great for um, hopefully you get someone else on the bench because this dude's going to be knocked out relatively quickly. All right, so we're just going to do energy absorption. Get our DCE. Get our DCE. Put that bad boy on him, and then next turn, just mop the floor with him. So pretty quick turn, uh, nothing really in my hand. I only want to use the Lysander against threats. Um, that's about it. All right, so now we're gonna see a Gyarados here. Oh shit, holy shit. Okay, holy crap. Nice, I, I will say well played. That was nice, I like that. Right, so we got another Ultra Ball here. Um, yes, just come in. What's up? How long do you need to do your well, stops? You just ruined the whole video, but what's up? What stops? Please? Two hours. Thank you. Love you. No, because I'm, yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry about all that. Anyway, so what am I going to be getting rid of? Uh, all right, let's let's just get rid of the energy. Don't really need it right now. All right, let's get Gardevoir out. Oh shit! Threw away the wrong energy. Whatever, not a big deal. I ain't worry about it. So what happens? I get distracted. Okay. Uh, and I will. Oh, all right, there we go. Uh, 
We'll save that for next turn. No, no. Would I need it now? No, I don't need it now. All right, sideburn. Get rid of him. So he's going to be doing 120 damage minimum to me. Next turn. What is this? Uh... Oh, okay. All right, nice. Nice, nice. Draws to yo wow okay so I guess he didn't have any energy and he doesn't necessarily off oh, dead bruh bruh come on we've been all my life all right we're gonna get rid of that special water energy uh, don't want to evolve because I don't want my turn to end yes give me cods. Filling up the hand. Let's go for trainer's mail. Done, son. Done, son. And then I'll just pump it out with cyber. Bam. So this necessarily this it's a it's hard to say what it specialized on. I'm just showing you one aspect of how I can play the deck. Uh, it's utilizing just Mewtwo to get attacks out there to get his big attack out there as early as possible. Hitting him up Cyburn ASAP. And that's exactly how I utilize him. Now I have a lot of supporter cards here that basically just help with, oh, see, he's gonna force me out to switch. Which, right, so I have to choose a Pokemon to be my bench Pokemon. Or to be, I have to choose someone from the bench. So, That's fine. Mew doesn't have a retreat cost. Which means I'm just gonna swap them out. So he's kind of bringing Blastoise back to normal, which is cool. Bam. Alright, rare candies, don't care. Once again, let's let's get rid of one of those energy cards. Just in case I need to bring Shaman back into the fold. Retreat Mew to Mewtwo. Evolve him into Nido King, not like I'm gonna use him at all. And the sideburn. Booyah. So what we're looking at right now, uh, it's probably going to bring out another Blastoise or a Lapras. No, White Kiram. Hmm. Alright, so if he has a switch, we'll pop him out. Oh, nice. Yeah, so he's got a bunch of good stuff that can hit me in the back end on the deck, uh, on, the, on the bench. So pretty useful when you're talking longevity of course when, when the further along that you're going in the game it's you whittle the guys down so by the time that my active Pokemon dies and I get someone from the bench up to the front they're already weak so his Blastoise is is toast so let's <laughs> okay Rainbow energy on Gardevoir. And let's hit him with the sideburn. Booyah. Booyah, motherfucker. Right, let's get this prize card. Anything useful? Oh, it, it's an EX, right, too. And a Lily. Nice. A lot of card advantage, card draw. Um, love Brock. You're able to put stuff back into my deck. I don't know if you've noticed, I do put a lot of stuff, uh, energies especially, into the uh, the burn pit, as it were. You see, I'm, you know, I'm at the point where it's like, I'm like, so, whatever about all of it. 
So what Pokemon do I want? Let's go with Dragonite. Bring Dragonite in the hand, prop, not even probably play him. Um, I'm feeling good. Let's do a Cyburn. Shit, I should have healed. Uh, Alright, that's not the end of the world. He'll die, but the next turn he'll die. So. Uh, I should have healed. Didn't even think of that. Did not even think of that. So, Mewtwo's gone. Which is fine. Not the end of the world. I'm gonna bring out Gardevoir. And this will be game. So, we have three, three, and I'm not even gonna fuck around with it. Link Blast. Done deal. Nice little golf clap. Well played, my friend. Not a bad deck, but... Yeah, so like I said, my, my, this deck that I'm using, it's not the end-all, be-all. It's not this great, crazy thing. It's fun. I do have fun with this deck. Um, it's very hit or miss. Uh, it doesn't really, you know... <laughs> it's What am I going to say? It's just a crap deck. It's like I just took a bunch of EX cards I had, threw them in a the deck, and added some energies and trainers. Uh, but, you know, it's not like I... <laughs> it's just... I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. I have fun with it. Now, there are times where I'll just... If, if I start off with just the crappiest shuffle and I just have a shit hand, it's like I'm fucked. There's nothing else I can do. Lost the coin flip. Gonna go second, which is fine. I'm okay with it. For example, right here. I love starting off with that DCE. Love starting off with the DCE, but I don't even want to throw it on the field. Now, another thing is because I have all mainly EXs, and I have those stupid Nidorans. I hate it when I get stuck with a Nidoran in my hand. That really irritates me. Because if I have nothing to play with a Nidoran, then I'm fucked. I'd have Zubat in there going up to Crobat for a while. It worked out pretty good. But, uh, you gotta take what you can, basically. Alright, who we got here? So he's running with, uh, this ugly fucking thing. Swing around, this attack does 20 more damage for each hand. Wow. Did 50 damage. It's not too bad. Not too energy. Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can discard something. And I can't. So. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna hold Lysander for later. I'm gonna put Dragonite down. DCE, get four cards, nice, Arco like let's go with Nurse Joy, or Pokemon Center Lady, that's fucking Nurse Joy, come on bruh, come on bruh, and can't really do anything right now, so, nope, 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 I click done, done deal. So this is a nice example of how a shit start is for me. Tails, come on, give me tails, give me tails, give me tails. Fuck you. All right. Well, actually, that's fine. Now that I have that in the discard pile, that's not bad. Um, I mean, it sucks, but I'll be fine. <laughs> Only ten damage. Fuck off. All right, here we go. Here's how we going to play. Right. Psychic energy on that bad boy. Uh, hold on to Shaman, obviously. Alright, get that DCE back. And then next turn we'll fucking knock this dude out. But we'll see. He's probably got a Sharpedo. Uh, wait a minute. Carvana. No, 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 no. I would imagine he'd have a Sharpedo EX. That dude, that dude. Swing it around, heads, tails, 30 damage, net 40. Not bad, not bad. Popping down a Mewtwo. Popping down a Rainbow Energy. Popping down the Pokemon Center Lady. 
And now this is the best part where I say, fuck you. Ugly ass barnacle little fuck. All right, he's out. Get my prize card. Ultra ball, nice, there we go. Now we're working with some magic here. All right, so we got a Lapras. Holy shit. Good thing I healed this fucker, dude. Holy crap. 100 damage. Holy shit. Bruh. Okay. Alright, we're gonna heal. We are going to look around. Okay. Got you. Ultra Ball. Get rid of the Rotani, get rid of Brock. Let's see, what can we pull out of our ass? Is there anything? Anything at all. Now this is the part, just with the way that everything is stacked up. I don't have a whole bunch of energies. Um, trying to be relatively conservative on this end, on what I can do. I think I'll just go with Gardevoir again. No, what the fuck? No, get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah. All right, getting Gardevoir. Popping this bitch down on the bench. Already used a supporter card from earlier, so uh, I'm just gonna use Cypher. And then next, he's probably gonna do some sort of crazy fucked up healing. He's gonna do uh, probably another 100 damage to me, which will be fine, because then I'll still be able to, to knock him out next turn. But then, I don't, does he have anyone that can, huh? No. All right, I should be good. I should be good. I should be good. So here's what we're gonna do. Fuck. Nothing but supporter cards, shit. All right, whatever, let's draw three. DCE. Love that DCE. We're gonna put that bad boy in Dragonite. And we're gonna, we're gonna Cybern. Get rid of the Lapras, get a prize card. And he hasn't put energy on any of his other guys. Yeah, um, ah, yes, okay. Okay, son, okay. You got 60 HP left. I shouldn't have any more Pokemon Center, ladies. Um, he hasn't been healed, so he's only gonna do 10 damage. Or he could do 40, he could do 40 damage. So the most that he can do next turn is 10. All right. No, he would do 40. I have to kill him, okay. He's dead, get a prize card. Pull that bad boy out. Rainbow energy, perfect. Not bad. Okay, now Kavarna comes out. Put an energy on him. He's gonna probably put someone on the bench. He needs to put someone on the bench, otherwise the next turn that's it. There we go. Another fucking Lapras. Great. Pulling out some bit some energies. Okay. This isn't too bad. He's doing what he needs to. And um as much as it's like he's holding on, I'm holding on just because of where my HP is right now. My deck really my bench isn't set up in such a way that screams like, hey, if I die, I'll be ready next turn. That's why I need to get Dragonite ready. I need to pull a DCE. So I'm essentially top decking for a DCE. All right, okay, so Mewtwo should be dead soon enough. Soon enough. Hmm. Let's try to get good energy on him. Cyburn, get the fuck out of here, Carvana. Little bitch. Little, little bitch. There's the good looking Dragonite. There you are, buddy. He just brings them out one at a time. Alright, 
what's Aaron Ryan doing again? For a trainer card. Okay. So, what can he do with that trainer card? What do we got here? Relic Camp. Alright, so. Just because I'm such a stand up guy, leave my bench where it's at. Put that on Dragonite. Dragonite's ready to go. Dragonite is fucking ready. We'll put Lysander. Switch those two out. Kill the fuck out of Relicanth. Because I know it's going to take at least two turns to take care of Lapras. Now, fortunately, next turn comes around. Get rid of his energy that he's got. Now, unless he makes me shuffle the deck. If he makes me shuffle the deck, well, things are going to get very interesting. Each. All right, well, whatever. Ah, shit in my discard pile. All right, so he's going to use. Let's come on, come on, come on. All right, so <laughs> bring your Relicanth back. Aaron running. Oh, Tails. Oh, he's going to use it next turn. He's going to use that. He's going to use it. Mm. Alright, Gardevoir is set. Alright, get rid of an energy card from him. The thing is, I don't... I kind of in the position where I don't care if Mewtwo, Mewtwo dies because... Two, <laughs> two out of the three Pokemon on my bench are ready to fucking go. Um, Crushing Hammer, please be a Tails. Alright, Lapras, it's been nice knowing you. Not really. Aaron running once again. Energy Retrieval. And wow, I'm actually surprised at that Mewtwo. And he conceded. So. Sometimes, you know, you just know. Trust me, I do that a lot. I don't do it super early on in the game. I try to last out as long as I can. But then there are times where you know it's like, I, there's it's either, you, you know, you're like five, six turns in and you just pulled crap and you're like, there's no way I can play catch up at this point. And an event ticket. And every single event that I have gone into has been pointless because I have lost every single one first round. My deck is nowhere near competitive ready. Like I said, it's a fun deck. Nothing to brag about. I do enjoy it though. I'm telling you, this Mewtwo, if used properly, can sweep. This dude can sweep fucking immaculately. Just great. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any tips or anything for anything I should probably sh fill out in my deck, that would actually be really useful. Um, like I said, it's nothing to brag about. It's, it's pretty decent. Uh, a lot of stuff in it is honestly needless because as you saw, the main champion that I use in my deck is Mewtwo from these examples, but there have been a lot of times where I've just wreck shot having Dragonite using that high, uh, that Hyper Beam, get rid of energy cards, uh, kind of late in the game, but that's why I always have the DCEs. I always try to get them as soon as possible. Um, wish he was a Dragon type, which would be dope because then I could use double Dragonite energy, but alas, he would be just too fucking OP at that point. He, he would have, there's way too many workarounds that he would have. Um, Gardevoir, great, but I don't really pull her very often. I don't really use her that much. But when I do use Gardevoir, she really does fucking help. Especially Mega Gardevoir when I fill up my deck with a bunch of useless fucking Pokemon that I just don't care about. Get rid of them. Anyway, y'all, it's been real. It's been fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the flippy plot.